Hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick update status on the uh, CRP4848 build. I've uh, got a couple things that I've upgraded on the control side. I um, have a problem with my uh, board for the pulse wave modulation for the spindle, um, which I'm reviewing that as to uh, what I'm going to do next. Um, but while in the meantime, what I've done was I've gone ahead and kind of set up an indicator here to uh, measure my z-axis um, and we'll just take a real quick look here I have an indicator on there I don't know if it's going to focus real good or not but uh, and this setup here isn't really real rigid but we can get the good movement here uh, so there was five inch travel and I don't know if you can see it there or not, but got about a thousandth, about a thousandth worth of deviation on z-axis on the back steel plate that actually runs up and down the bearing. So I'm pretty satisfied with that for right now. I don't think I'm going to do any more adjustments on that. Um, the next step will be I'll, I'll measure off of here, and then I'll actually measure off either the side of the spindle or off the uh, spindle plate kind of hard to do with a round ball on a round surface uh, to get that kind of vertical movement so it'll probably be off here um, and I have not made any adjustments to the axis whatsoever physical adjustments to the axis so um, very pleased first time out uh, having built this first time I've checked uh, any of the axis yet and to have you know about a thousand deviation over five inches on the Z I think I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, we'll get to a point where we'll check uh, some of the other axes out, and I have a, a way I'm going to do that, which I'll review. <clears throat> now, as to the things that I've done to update here, I've went out and I've purchased, I actually got it off of Amazon. This is actually a desk mount monitor stand. Um, got it for like 31 bucks with free shipping. So I've got two swing arms so I've got plenty of room there's uh, you know probably about eight inches worth of adjustment up and down so that worked out pretty good and I just took the clamp mount off the side of it because the uh, base piece here actually had a, a piece for a clamp and it was just bolted together so that worked out real well I just put some spacers in here and bolted the thing down to the table and it just clears the <laughs> Uh, x-axis shaft over here the other thing I did was I went out and I got myself again I got this from Amazon couldn't find it any place else it's called a wind touch it's a touch screen um, and basically I looked at all the different types of touch screen monitors out there and they're pretty expensive and then to find one that's backwardsly compatible with XP was uh, near nil uh, and the ones that were were you know five six hundred dollars so I got this uh, off of Amazon all it does is uh, basically it just straps right on the front of the monitor it installs pretty quick and easy they have a setup screen so that you can go through and touch off points to calibrate it um, stays on there pretty snug um, and it, it, it's pretty nice um, I've got it set up now and I think this should clear if I go ahead and zero if I just press that <clears throat> everything moves out of the way so from a touchscreen standpoint it's uh, pretty nice uh, for the the dollars I spent for it I think I paid with shipping well actually it was free shipping I think it was uh, 120 dollars which was cheaper than buying a monitor and it uh, is compatible with XP pretty easy and quick to, to set up now the the problem I have with the spindle control is is when I turn it on it turns off and on that's not an issue but I can't get it to vary any speeds right now it comes to about 4300 rpms um, and even if I you know adjust things up and down it'll move a little bit but it's it's not what it's supposed to be I know when I preset this uh, before I assembled the machine um, it was working. Um, it would go up to almost max RPMs, but whenever I keyed in different RPMs, it was always off quite a bit. So I think there was something to do with the uh, 
frequency and so forth on there. Um, so I'm looking at you know some other boards just specifically for uh, spindle inputs and uh, once I make a decision and buy something then I'll review how that sets up and works. Uh, but overall um, it's pretty slick. Uh, I have my little startup program here. Just Spindle turns on and starts going through the routine and I can hit the uh, feed hold and it stops it, stop the program, rewind it, go back to zero. So overall, <laughs> I like this touch screen. It's really nice and it works real good and it's quick, simple, easy to set up. Um, no complaints about it. So that's where I'm currently at. Basically got myself uh, set up here with a monitor assembly, touch screen. Uh, working out the details on the spindle but other than that we're coming along pretty good what I'm going to do is probably go ahead and, and set this back up as a manual wire uh, so that I can start cutting some stuff because I've got some brackets and things I want to make so uh, one thing I'll do maybe in another video coming up maybe the next one or not I'll walk through how to actually uh, kind of set up the uh, VFD uh, I know a lot of people have issues with this I'm not sure how to set it up so um, I'll try and walk through that and then on uh, CNC zone I'll actually post the uh, parameter inputs that I come up with so um, so that's it for now thanks for watching